Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Void Train. Uh, I am currently getting a few things ready. I'm gonna decide I want to expand the platform to its maximum length. I actually may, need to make two more of those. Um, we got our, little, our new little friend here, Flimo. Uh, not only, like I said, can I actually assign him to stations to, uh, to produce um, like higher yield and whatnot, like each... Each one of these has a certain trait that they have, right? This one, like I said, he reduces crafting time by 10%. It's not that really big of an issue. Um, one of the things that I do want to actually look at, let me, uh, come on, pick up, there we go, is that uh, gathering station. I was actually looking into this. Now, apparently, whatever, as soon as I find it here, where is it here? Gathering station, gathering station. Oh, that's right. That was over here. I think it was over here, was it not? There we go. Gathering station. Allow the Flimo to gather resources from the void. Now, I can actually install this on the train, and he will get, uh, it will gather resources for me. So, I guess any Flimo that isn't assigned to any smelter or uh, any other machine might be able to get, gather stuff for me, and uh, at this rate, I'm going to need all the help I can get. So, uh, first, let's let's actually see what I have for scrap, because I do have some. I got 8, 16, and I got this. Uh, it's my only chemical, so that's what I'm kind of worried about. Like, I don't know what I'm going to need, because I think I need brass for that. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and expand this car, this wagon 1. Okay, now, let's actually see, I, no, it doesn't show me how big it is, but I'm guessing it's the size of one platform. So let me see if I can get these these items together and we, if we can do it here or not. So a thought occurred, the rare and far and few between that must be cherished when they come do happen. Uh, we have an exchange over here. I noticed they actually opened up another machine, so that's actually more stuff that we can get. Now, I actually do need chemicals, and I have a lot of wood, so I might actually be able to do this. Uh, I was looking at and it needs two sturdy wood, and this sturdy wood needs one one thickener, and the uh, thickener was know, over here. Uh, thickener needed one resin, one unstable chemicals, and the unstable chemicals, uh, unstable chemicals was two and one so I should be able to do that and uh, I need resin as well or not resin uh, copper so let me see what I have for wood here I know I have a whole bunch I actually have another a whole bunch of another chest too so let's see what we can get for for some chemicals is this just like a one-time thing or can I get multiple Oh, you can buy it out. Oh, I was buying zinc. Uh oh. Hmm. I'm wondering if I can restock with different items. So I wasn't really paying attention. I got three, three chemicals. I have one. Is this actually going to be enough? Uh, let me find out. Okay. Well, I uh. It kind of ran out of uh, chemicals there, so I thought I'd try to cheat the system and do a save and reload and reload. And the chemicals were there, but as I bought this piece of scrap, they disappeared. So I'm actually short. I have enough to make one sturdy board, and that's it. So we won't be making the nest at this depot, unfortunately. Uh, it's kind of a shame because uh, I don't think I have any more supplies anymore else, I don't think. Let me do one more quick check before we leave. Okay, well, I kind of jumped the gun a little bit, uh, get, put, making the resources for the two parts, because I did make two, two extra bearings. I could use that grease to make one more stiffener to do the things that we wanted to do. But anyway, I'll well, just go ahead and expand this platform anyway. So uh, I missed two I think to actually have that. Uh, I was also looking at, at it too. Um, one engine will pull eight platforms, and that includes the platforms that it sits on. Now, because of the spacing, I think technically... Uh, you could, I don't know if you could have two two on one deck, but I don't know if you had 
two engines, one here, one there, you could have uh, 16 platforms. So you could technically pull four four cars. That's basically how it works. Now, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Iron. Uh, let's go do this, do this upgrade quickly. At least I think I have iron. Oh, I can make iron. Uh, let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's do this. All right, so we go over here. Now we are at max length. Um, yeah, as far as um, the engines go, this right here it gives plus eight to the maximum number of platforms on of the train. Now that's platforms. That's not wa uh, actual wagons. So you could uh, have, say, yeah, two two wagons at eight, four platforms, or you could have four wagons at two two platforms. But one has to be three three for the engine because the engine itself actually takes up. Three. One, two, three. Anyway, so we do have a full length train now. We do have room. Let me throw some wood on here. And I'll meet you when that's done. Okay, all ready to go. We have full length. I have plenty of room back there, which won't last long once I start getting more storage and more machines and you know, the gathering nest. And uh, let's see if he follows me. Uh, he should be going along so see you probably in his nest in his bed right now let's actually just go out here see what happens see what we come across and uh i realized too i can use my mouse wheel too i'm not gonna worry about using that i know i'll be able to get the ammo and it is the same world again all right sit right here get rid of that did he follow? He did. I can pick him up too. What can I do with him? Oh yeah, I can feed him and all that stuff. I can't give him anything because he wants the mushroom. Oh, it's, he's gonna be all over the place, isn't he? Oh God, this will be interesting. Anyway, uh. It just says move forward, so I guess not much I can do. I guess I gotta start researching because I think I have to get these hooks for the winch. I have no fi I haven't figured out where this winch is yet. I thought it was supposed to be on my on here. It's supposed to be like middle mouse to grapple, but I haven't seen anything. But anyways, uh, enough rambling. I'm gonna do my thing and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Ooh, good test for this. One shot in the clip. Let's see if it get, see if it comes back. Okay, the beastie's been around, and I've been uh, making short work of him. Uh, an interesting mechanic that I don't see very often is the gun jammed on me. I couldn't fire the gun; I actually had to reload it. Uh, you had to pull out the jammed around and continue. What is this thing? It doesn't have as high DPS as a revolver, but it's definitely got a higher, faster rate. Or not DPS. Uh, damage per hit. They're only getting about 35, 40 a hit. He should be back anytime now. Trying to collect some resources. Best thing is, you can always hear him coming too. Unfortunately, I got this big, big old steam engine in the way. I probably should have moved it back a little bit. But let's see if we're coming around. Where are you? He should be around. He's been bugging me ever since I left. Where are you? Come on. Get over with. There he is. Ah, of course I always run out of rounds. I always, I always hear him teleporting. It always freaks me out. I think it's like, what, something running out of fuel? Or is something damaged? What's going on here? Come on, you. Where are you? You're not going to leave me alone. I know that. You will once he's gone, though. Let's go 
go out here and grab something, see if we can get him out of hiding. You see what I'm serious? Where is he? All right, I'll bring you back when he's done. Okay, I'm back, and I've also come across an post. Almost perfect timing on that. Uh, I think we're gonna go for go for it this time. We're not gonna ram it. We're gonna try to get up resources that I can because I'm gonna need all the resources, all the stuff I can get. I have been getting up a lot of stuff. There's actually a nice little mine here, mine field. And it does seem to be leaving a lot more scrap whenever you start blowing up these mines. I'm guessing that's what demining is. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've, once again, I got the, the abomination of the void. Oh, sorry, that was my phone. Uh, getting down to one hit, he never comes back. Alright, oh, 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 oh. Uh, I do have one bandage on right me. I want to make a couple more. Uh, now what do I need for that? I need chemicals. It really needs chemicals in this game. Oh my god. Uh, chemicals everywhere. It's almost like the... It's almost like half of our society. It's chemicals. Alright. Uh, let's make chemicals. I think it was. Let's make two. That's all I really need. And I will make up uh, some plating too. I have one, but I'll make one more. Just because. Oh, come on, do this right. There we go. Now let's make two. Uh, wrong category. You got consumables, plating, uh, two. Alright, I'm gonna take that and I will use that to make sterilizer. Make two of those. Make this and that. And I'm out of fuel. First hand. And we pick this up and do one. Uh, there we go. I actually wish it was inventory crafting like this, or you queue it up and then have it in your inventory, but this does make sense, but at the same time, too, who's actually doing the work if I'm over here? No, he's not doing anything. Where is he? And he's gone. Yeah, Freeloading. Anyway, let's do this. Uh, I do have some ammo. I'm going to try to use it. Maybe I'll use a uh, little prospect here, see if we can pull off a couple of headshots before we get there. I don't think this is going to go well. And honestly, I don't, can't remember what happens if you actually die in this game. I don't think I ever have. We're going to find out. Missed. Let's do this. I hit the wrong keys, man. Yeah, out of my inventory, come on. Oh, I'm out of ammo on that one.
One more. I see you. I'm coming for you. Still one more. Come on. Oh, two more. And there you're there. I see you. And one more. There you go. That should be it. Wait for the music. Nobody's shooting at me, so I'm gonna assume it's done. You got in here? No. I guess that's it. Alright, let's see what the like, gun parts I find I don't actually need. Uh, what was that? That interact here. Oh, the lamp. There's always lamps. I think at the next deep one I might actually start scrapping some of these things. I have no idea what I need them for. Alright, there was nothing in here. I got the obscure details they put in this game. In. Like, why would you have that? Oh. Come on. Well, at least I can restock up on all the ammo I just wasted. It's the only reason, the only reason why I'm using that gun, because I don't want to be able to find ammo everywhere. Look at the depots and stuff. Nothing I can take is armor. Yeah, that's uh, something I've been noticing when they're wearing armor of that. If you hit them in the chest with legs and stuff like that, you don't. You just do armor damage. If you really want to take them out, you got to go over the headshots. All right. Uh, I shouldn't be picking that up because I need yeah, room for modules. And uh, it's a good thing I actually did that because uh, I didn't actually repair my ram at the last station or at all. So we destroyed it. It does cost iron, so I don't want to have to do that if I don't have to, want to. Uh, okay, now let's go check over here. And we roll on. I think I actually have enough inventory space to, or uh, supplies to upgrade. Yeah, we've been here already. Okay, and there is nothing on the other side, I don't think. No, because that was a good way up. All right, well, let's see what our research is. That's the wrong table. I think I've played this game before. Alright, I need three steel, three brass wire, and three springs. And guess what? I have everything except for the copper wire. Uh, let's see what I picked up. Oh, I picked up a big token. Oh, I got a barrel. Ooh, I got a barrel. You can actually put this thing in here. No. Maybe not in this model. Maybe that's what it is. I have no idea. I'll figure it out eventually. Just like I got so many grips, barrels, and, and all these things. Just inventory clutter. Anyway, uh, let me get myself together. Okay, so uh, I was doing a little bit of inventory management, looking at, checking out what I need. Um, I was actually getting ready for the boiler upgrade. And I was messing around with the gun a little bit more. And uh, I don't know if it was because I changed a few things, but I was actually able to change select a barrel and then i was actually able to create this called the fast blindness i have no idea how well this is going to work but let's find it uh, let's see here i have 93 rounds i want to call that fast but apparently it has pretty high damage if i can go in here put that in there and it's saying it's doing 44 damage or if I go and go in here again and put this one in, it's only doing 29, but it's a rapid fire. 
That's not bad. It does have durability. Okay, that's what's going on. I gotcha. Oh. Okay, so I can actually remove these out of them. Alright, well, I figured it out. Yay, I'm smart. Anyway. Uh, where was I with this thing? Okay, I got the brass being made. Uh, copper. A few more things. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have enough for the boiler upgrade level 2. Go ahead and research that. Then, uh... We'll research what's next, which is going to be traction. Uh, I don't think that's going to really matter to me because I've got eight platforms already, and the engine can only do eight platforms, but uh, I can always throw another engine on and get poor, poor if I wanted. Anyway, I need two dampeners, or two dampers, two gear, two steel bolts. I have steel uh, dampers that might need chemicals. Let's see what we need for that. Uh, two sealant. Sealant actually wasn't expensive, I don't think. Uh, definitely gotta do some more rearranging. Two chemicals. Okay, so four chemicals. Alright, let me see what I can do. Okay, I'm back. Just making up the, seal the sealant now. Uh, I tell you, this game has some very strange audio cues. I was going along collecting stuff, and all of a sudden got that big um, dramatic intro that happened happens to be called to an outpost. And I thought, well, wait, we were just at an outpost and looking around trying to figure out what it was. And it was just like that first couple of beats, and then that was it. And then I haven't seen anything. Uh, but yeah, we are just about ready to get the the traction upgrade and then see what's next. I have a feeling it might have something to do with uh, the winch. Not 100% sure what's going on. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, go over here and I still got to make out everything else. Okay, that should be everything. Two, one, ding. Oh, I was a little early on that. Alright, well, there is a traction upgrade. Let's see what comes next. Now, I'm kind of wondering how many times I have to move forward before it tells me I gotta do something else. Effective cooling, max health, and train armor. Interesting. Well, I don't have no idea what's next, so uh, I guess I'm going to keep on chugging along and gather up resources and meet you at the next depot, and we'll look at the, the gathering station. Until then, I'll see you. Okay, here we are. Uh, this is actually the next day for me. If I sound a little bit different, hopefully I sound a little bit better, but here we are. I have been gathering all sorts of stuff that I can get. Uh, we should be able to get, get enough for this gathering station. Uh, I also might want to start getting... Uh, yep. There's that epic music I was waiting for. Uh, we might start getting uh, Rufflimo to start working on uh, maybe like the lab or something. Try to, you know, get some extra items crafted out of things that we're making. Hopefully that we can get something. But I want to check out this gathering station. Uh, I was also looking at uh, checking out what was going on with the the winch. And apparently uh, it's all unlocked with the storyline you have to get to a certain point just like how we didn't get Reflimo until we got the steam engine now that we got Reflimo I think we're going to be getting uh, the fireflies you know we'll get the throwing wing throwing ring quest and we can actually start using the winch to get off the train and go exploring so see what else out see what what is out there but here we are uh, I do have bandages on me oh I gotta go pick them up just be quick uh, I'm gonna go with uh, this one here, and hopefully we should be okay. I did have a box of ammo, so we are good to go. Of course, they're not actually waiting for us at the station anymore. We have to go inside, but uh, I'm thinking that's why it's been sort of the same depot every time. is because I haven't progressed in the storyline. But here we are. Uh, that was not the best place for me, but I can always run... And, wait for it. But yeah, this, this gathering station is uh, something I'm interested about because uh, Reflimo is completely different than what it was before. It would basically give like an overall buff on the train every time we gave it mushrooms. This time you can actually get him to, I won't say work, but it can help you out. And I think I need to go back here just in case. Not the fast, fastest shot, but it seems to have some power to it. What are we up against?
That's the same one. Move forward. Anyway, uh, let me look around. I'll see if anything to take care of, and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, I'm back. And it was nothing too exciting. It was the exact same fight as it always is. Uh, nothing's going to change, but I have a feeling things are going to change there. Uh, also, we happen to have a new Raflimo here. And I think we'll hatch him and see what see what we get out of it. Maybe it'll be better than the one we have. Let's find out. I know we can only have one per car. Uh, but we can only place the nest on... Or the bed on... The second one, he didn't want to place there for some reason. But where is this guy? Where are you? Where'd you go? There you are. So you... Reduces the crafting time of all workbenches by one. And gives a chance for your bonus R when smelting copper or iron. And defender. Hmm. I like the other guy better. Alrighty, well, now that we're here, let's actually see what we need for the, the gathering station. We got that. I've also been thinking about the, the gun mods. Like, I've been picking up all these things. I've got, got another gun here, too. The Stable Mantis. Now, I know with these, we can... I can replace the parts and get different things. I've been picking up all sorts of things. Uh, uh, I'm assuming that these are actually, like, good quality. Like, the blue is better than the green. So, this would be, like, common, uncommon, rare, for instance. Possibly, I have no idea, but let's go see what we need for this uh, this gathering station. Two sticky planks, three steel, uh, one brass wire, and a dampener. All right, well, let me get that together, and we'll check this thing out. Okay, I have enough. Let's go ahead and place this down. Uh, I want to make sure I have room for storage too. Let's actually have a look at this thing. Can I actually rotate it? No, I guess not. Hmm. Sure, let's put it there. Alright. Well, let's go have a look at this thing. Gather station. Interesting. I'm sure... Oh, I'm sure you can pause that and read that, but... Well, I'll take a look at it. Now that I have this here, I can actually start getting some more storage in. Well, that's cool. Uh, worker not assigned. That is cool. Very cool. Alright, well. Oh. Worker not assigned. I guess I can't, I can't assign him in here. Ah, right, there we go. I just not want to... Hmm. Oh. Assigned to work. There we go. We can fire him too. Wait, what was that? Okay, yeah, they're, they're traits. Alright, was that actually going to tell me what he was going to pick up too? Alright, 35% chemical and woods, 10% scrap metal, zinc, ice organics. Well, that's going to be interesting. Anyway, uh, let me build some storage and then uh, I'll go from there. Okay, I am done. I have spent some time uh, doing a little bit of organizing. Uh, basically, I decided to make this my armory. Uh, limited on space. Every single chest you see here, which is a container too, is actually full of parts. Now, I know I can go through there. I have these and I have doubles and ones I'll never use. Uh, but for the time being, that's what it is. I have a second gun in here, and uh, I'll figure that out as we go. And then I've got the gathering station over here. A nice little exit out the back if I need to. Kind of interesting. So with that, I think we are going to roll. I have absolutely no resources left. I got everything organized again. So I got steel or iron, steel, uh, iron, steel parts, copper, brass, yada yada yada, same with here, wood, it's gonna be two chests, chemicals, fat, and all that stuff, but anyways, let us roll, uh, and then I think, I do believe the next world is gonna be a different one, uh, make sure I've done everything, I have done, done all my resourcing, I filled up on the ammo, on the ammo crates that are laying around, 
Checked for any scrap. I checked the, the, the exchange machine over there. And they didn't have any scrap. It was just like leather and wood and stuff like that. Stuff I had a whole bunch of. And the slot machine didn't give me much except for a bomb and a piece of... What else did I get out of that? Oh, bomb and ammo. <laughs> what do you know? Anyway, let's roll. See what kind of world we're into, into now. I have a feeling this is going to be progression. Oh, purple. We are in a new world. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I've never seen the bells before. Oh, jeez. Well, this is definitely a good place to call it. Uh, I have a feeling we're going to be unlocking some quests here soon. Oh. And we got our little friend back here. Let's see if we could take him out. Oh, yeah, I don't have any ammo. Anyway, uh, I think this is a good place to call it. Uh, it's been quite the long episode. Uh, got quite train going on here. We got got an engine. Now we got a flemo. We have a new world, and we have a gathering station. Now where is he? Is he here? Are you going to do something? Probably not. Lazy bugger. Oh, that's right. He doesn't gather while the train's not moving. So uh, when I'm stopped gathering my own, he doesn't gather. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, that's wrong then. Later. Right then.